All right, I wanted to bring up an idea that I have um, something that I've been adding into my run as a way of preserving the price pack. But I've also realized that it is a way of potentially saving time if you go on arrows as well, leaving Hera. Um, specifically, five, six, and seven arrows is the arrow counts. And the way that this will save time, um, I'm not 100% sure on what everyone really does. I haven't paid that much of a close attention to this specifically, but basically a lot of people with five will pick up the cave arrows, I believe. And I believe that this is faster um, by around 30 to 35, 40 frames, give or take, than doing that. And the other way that you would use this is to preserve the price pack, mainly if you're on the arrows and you're coming down here, obviously this is going to be a 50-50, whether he's going to drop arrows, you will lose the arrows. So I have this timed out um, roughly around 13 frames of time loss. Uh, the idea is that you will skip the bird and you will do what is known as the backup crab where you beam the crab. Instead, you will basically skip this and do that as the actual strat. So if we look at the times here for this, 10, 20, 10, it's too low. I get like a really good one. Nine. And stay on the same line here as well, so I'm getting kind of the same. That is roughly a little bit closer to 10 7. This one here, uh, 10 5. So you can see it's about, that was a little bit farther to the right there, so probably like a 10 7. That would be like a 10 8. So, about basically around 20 frames, obviously, you're getting, you're maximizing this dash here. So, instead of, of you know, shooting and dashing here, um, you know, the time you get this up movement you are you're starting your dash basically here so you're getting a few extra tiles of of dash movement which is saving a little bit of time plus you're saving the, obviously the animation of the bow and the kill so 20 frames of of time save by skipping the bird and then when you get to this screen here after the grove you obviously will want to do the arrow pre preservation strat here by dashing obviously if you don't know dashing will preserve the price pack because it stops things from dropping so here you will want to do the strat to preserve this and again it, it when you get to here this is where the strat is going to change so we'll make a safe state here i'm going to give myself the book just because of safe states shenanigans and so we've saved 20 frames, but here we're going to do a little bit of timing, and I have this to be around 32 frames, 30, 34, 30, 34, so 30, 34, 3 for 3, that's, that's pretty decent. We have a uh, 31.09, 31.07. 3106. So, I mean, 32 frames. 32, 33 frames, give or take. I mean, we could, you know, go monk up with both strats and try to optimize them, but I mean, that's not going too fast and trying to, because I mean, this movement is a little bit harder, but once you get used to it, it's it's not too difficult. I've been doing this in runs for quite a while now, and I've never I've never missed it. Um, that's probably. So, I mean, give or take, it's like 32 two frames. So, if we take the 32 and the 20, we're, we're losing around 12 frames to, to get this here. But we've saved one less arrow. And we've preserved the prize pack all the way through. So, it's a 12 frame loss to preserve the prize pack here. So, that in itself is one idea. And that's what I've been doing in my runs. Um, is preserving the, the arrow. Um, I do skip Easter. I know a lot of people... I think that's nuts, but um, the way that I do my arrow routing, it actually does save me time uh, because of the way that I route the arrow. I don't do anything in swamp, and I usually skip everything and just do the GT 10 chest. So that's just the way that I run. So to me, it saves me a second on my route. I know optimally there's a lot of mass and stuff that can happen, but um, that's why I like to preserve this prize pack and try and get it later. Uh, but even if you're still on it, it's, it would still save you time, you know, mathematically in the road, in my opinion. 
Um, I think 13 frames is not a lot to lose, basically to preserve the price pack. Now, the second idea that this comes into play is the arrows. Now, if you're low on arrows, so if you're on eight arrows, eight arrows is the minimum that you can come out of Hera with and still do the optimal strats and get all the way through pods without having to do a pickup. You know, we use the one for bird, the, the two in the ball and chains here is three, then you use another four for the spear garage, which is seven. That leaves you with one arrow. You pick up the five in the pot room, bring to the six. You will use one for the switch and pod, four for the mimics, uh, leaving you with one for the switch. Eight coming out, leaving pod with zero, which is completely fine, but that is the minimum that you need. Now, if you come out there with seven, okay, being able to skip that bird will allow you to get all the way through here. You've lost 13 frames, but you can now go through all of basically the route that I just explained without having to do a backup. If you use your arrow, you will be down to six. And obviously you're going to have to do a backup strat somewhere, or you have to pick up the cave arrows, which is 90 frames. So basically you're losing 13 frames, but you can go all the way through versus picking up the pot or having to do a backup. I think that's a pretty good um, trade-off. If however you've got five or six, if you've got five arrows, for instance, a lot of people I think would pick up the cave arrows. Now what I do is I skip the bird, which, you know, loses me the 13 frames, but that leaves me with five arrows. And then in this room here, I do the four beam strat. Now the four beam strat, roughly give or take, I think is around 40 frames. That wasn't the greatest one. But again, about to make a save state. Apologies. Not a bad one, actually. That was pretty decent. 748. That was bad. My bad. Let's see. It's like a 740. Okay, I got two 740s. I mean, you could probably get better than I can, but you can get better than I can with the other strats too. So that's, this is just a rough idea. Okay, that was an 832. That's it. Well, that was a good one. That was an 816. So, I mean, that was actually within 28 frames of winning. That was like within 30 frames. <laughs> so, you see, like, that was like 30 frames of loss there. I think optimally it's around 40 if you're doing both optimally. But, I mean, this is just like RTA for me. I got a good, so th this is another good one here. Getting another, so I'm getting an 819 there. This is a better one here. This will be a good test. And a 44, so it's only 35 frames, so it's not a lot. So if we get the 35 plus the 13, so let's say, let's just say it's 40 frames, or let's say it's 38 frames and we put the two together, 37, when we get Mass is hard. 37. So it's around 50 frames of time loss to do the the five. Um, to skip the bird if you've got five, and to do this is around 50 frames, but it allows you to go all the way through. Um, now you've got enough arrows to do everything optimally. So 50 frames versus getting the pot in the cave, which is a 90 frame loss. So this should save you 40 frames if you grab the pot. Again, with six arrows, you can do the optimal way, shoot the bird and then do this strat here. That will lose you around 35 to 40 frames, but you can go through it optimally again. So basically this is an idea to skip the cave pot arrows when you're at five, six arrows, seven arrows and get through with saving time or to preserve the prize pack and hopefully get it later on. So be interested to hear what you all think. Um, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot.